Oh, hello again, Potterpuffs. You're back for part two, I see. I'm glad you haven't missed it because we have got way more exciting collections to look at today. I mean, I just couldn't believe the amount of cool stuff that I saw yesterday, and now we get to do that all again. Now, if you're new to my channel, make sure that you give me a big subscribe, leave me a comment down below, let me know what your favourite part about this video was, and which collection is your favourite. Over the last year, I have gained loads and loads of Potter Puffs. I mean, Potter Puffs was a name that I created in January this year. I wanted to give my community a name other than just a follower which sounds a bit boring and it sounds like a number but you guys aren't numbers to me you are all amazing Harry Potter fans who I love to interact with all the time so that's what this video is all about really it's all about showcasing your love of Harry Potter and sharing it with the other Potter Puffs so let's go and see some more amazing collections now Ava has a Harry Potter corner not just a Harry Potter shelf you need to see this to see just how magical it is and don't forget to notice the magical letters hanging from the ceiling So we have some potion lights, we have a really cool poster with loads of Harry Potter quotes on it. We have a quill right at the top. She has really designed how her books are standing like really well. So you've got like the curved effect going on and then you've got some others laid out. So it makes it really interesting. But your pygmy puff is my favorite. That is adorable. In my last video, I said how you guys put so much detail and thought into how you set out your Harry Potter shelves. I'm also really surprised that so many of you have Harry Potter shelves. I didn't know if it would just be a collection that you keep somewhere or something that you lay out, and it seems a lot of you do have a bookcase devoted to it, or at least a shelf. Now something that you've done Ava that I really really like is the fact you've actually decorated the shelf itself so you've stuck up cards and little pieces of like parchment and things to make it look extra magical. Now I wasn't sure where Chris you are actually from because you've sent this really well presented video of photos of your collection. Absolutely love it and I can see that the foreign books are on there. I can't work out which language it is so if any of you Potter Puffs know let me know. Okay, now this is definitely my favourite thing about what you've sent me. This is so cool, Chris. The Fantastic Beasts new suitcase. It does look like something from the studio tour just literally set up in your room, which is so, so cool. Not only has he got really cool stuff on top of the suitcase, I can even see a wand permit. I can see Bertie Bots. There's so many little things which are absolutely incredible. I love your wand collection, Chris, and everything else you've got. It's so, so cool and a really well-made video. Now Chloe will always be one of my die-hard Potter Puff. She comments on all of my photos each day, she watches every single video, and she's a Hufflepuff. So let's see what she's got to show me. So many of your items, Chloe, are my favourite. I absolutely love Professor Trelawney's Cup with the Grim, or Harry's Cup with the Grim. I love the fact you've also got the same die-cast models as me, so the Night Bus and the Chamber of Secrets. They came out a long time ago, so they're quite rare nowadays. She also has loads and loads of minifigures. I don't know if they were from the first collection that they brought out. I know they're doing a new collection soon, which I'm hoping to unbox them on my channel. They look really, really nice together. And the Monster Book of Monsters, everything is so cool. Taylor's from Australia, and I can imagine that merch is quite hard to get in Australia, but she has got a great collection. I especially love all of her books. Let's take a look. Thank you. 
So one thing I really, really love that you have, Taylor, I love it all, but my favourite, I think, is Lord Voldemort's wand. I don't actually own any wands. I have some from Geek Gear, but I don't have any official ones, and yours look absolutely amazing. As I said just before we watched the clip, I also love the fact you have so many books. You've got the character vault, you've got the creatures book, like loads of film wizardry books, which is so interesting to read. I can see from that video that you are quite a bookworm. So whoever sent in this next clip didn't put their name on there. I can see they're from England, but I really wanted to feature your collection anyway. So let's have a little look. So I love the fact that you've got newer version of these UK Harry Potter books. I don't have those, but I love the fact they've got really nice covers, loads of nice colours. They look a lot more modern and up to date than these ones. They're a little bit garish when you think about it nowadays. And I also love the fact that you've got the Elder Wand. Out of all of the Noble Collection or official ones, that is the one I'd most like to own. And I can see from the little Ravenclaw badge you've got at the end of your shelf, you must be a Ravenclaw. Now I love this video sent in by Lauren and thank you so much for saying that I'm your favourite YouTuber. I appreciate that a lot. I love your collection and the way you've laid out this video. Now what I love about this is the fact that she has opened up one of her favourite Hogwarts creativity books and showed pops that go with it. I also really, really love the fact that you've got loads of different editions of Harry Potter. They're kind of mishmash, they're not all matching, but I love that, especially the Goblet of Fire. The pillows on the bed look amazing. I love the fact that loads of you have Harry Potter duvets and bedding. That is really, really cool. So, Adjona, you have sent me such an amazing list detailing all of the Harry Potter items you have. Wow, your collection is impressive and I love all the handmade stuff that you've got. You put in your email that you made loads of your collection and like the little things and they really add nice little touches to your shelf. Everything looks absolutely beautiful and the mug, Axio T. You've got pop figures of the trio, you've got little artifacts, it all comes together so nicely on your Harry Potter shelves. Now I only know the next person's Instagram handle but they are from Iceland and they are called Lily Luna Potter on Instagram. Now this collection is so cool. One thing I'm going to say is I love the Ginny Weasley section. Lily, you are super, super speedy when you are filming your video, so I struggled to catch up with what was going on, but I love everything that you've got. Now, it definitely looks like you've been to the studio tour, because I can see the extendable ear, lots of sweet packets, your prefect badge, there's so much there. Oh, and not forgetting the Triwizard Cup, which I think is actually one of the most affordable pieces of merch in the shop. If you go to the studio tour, that is a good purchase because it lights up and everything. I can see, Lily, that you have themed a lot of your shelves to different characters, which is a really nice idea, not something I've seen on the other videos as much. Now, the last video for today is from Isabella in London. Okay, whoa, I can see that you love geek gear. Like me, you have, well, actually, it seems like we've got the same wardrobe because I have that Hufflepuff top and I also have two of those geek gear t-shirts and I've got some of the posters. So it kind of feels like I'm in my own bedroom. But my favorite item that you have is definitely your Nimbus 2000 or is it a firebolt? I can't tell but whichever broom you have, that is so, so nice. I wasn't allowed a broom. You have an amazing collection and I love what you've done on the wall behind you with all your geek gear prints. It's a really nice way to use them and display them. So Potter Puffs, that is the end of that two part special. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing Harry Potter collections from all around the world. 
I would love to do more videos like this in future, so don't worry if you weren't featured this time or you would have liked to have participated, I will do another one of these. And also, I'm going to do an owl post video again soon. If you want to be part of my next owl post video, you can send me a letter, a card, anything you want to, just so I can open it and feature it on my channel. That would be amazing, so leave me a comment down below if you'd like to do that. It was amazing sharing all of those collections with you guys, and I will see you next week for another fun-filled Hufflepuff video. See you soon, Potterpuffs. Bye!